Hello Internet, Sweaty Hewlett is back again with a burn and learn. It has been again too long. I feel like I do one, I feel so good about it, and then like a week goes by, I'm like, oh man, I beat myself up again. Anyways, here's the deal. I'm back in Toronto for a couple of days, then back to Newfoundland, which I'm just loving, I gotta say. I just, yeah, it's been such a like really pleasant time out there. I've loved the people. I love the cast I'm working with and the animals and the people who train the animals and generally everyone who lives there because it's just such a, it's just, God, it's just, a, it's an amazingly different uh, place and lifestyle and speed and, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, but it's also uh, wreaked havoc with my, uh, with my burn learns because uh, between travel and filming and, and, and feeling a little bit coldy, I've just, I've just not been doing it. So, um, I've taken on another challenge, um, and I'll tell you about that in a second, but first I will tell you that this is a burn and learn, and this is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise, it is boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible, and that is why I am here now in the disgusting mess that I am right now. God, it really, it really kicked my butt today, let me tell you. Um, Partially because one of the things I want to sort of get a hold of along with this whole exercise regime, which I'm still struggling with, uh, is food. I, uh, you know, over the years I've gone from someone who ate nothing to someone who just eats all the time, loving every part of it, and willing to try <laughs> try anything. Um, so what I would like to do is, um, is start uh, tracking that better. And I found that the best way to lose weight for me, because I really do need to lose something, it's like between my knees and, and uh, my knees and my heart and all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna, need to, I'm gonna need to lose some weight. So I found the best way of doing that is to track what I eat. By writing down what I'm eating, often in advance, you get a sense of you know, like just how many calories you're consuming, and and um, it just makes you think twice before you actually start to, you know, chowing down on donuts and the like. So, um, so I uh, I have been uh, well, I started that today, so we'll see. I've also been taking uh, blood sugar readings, which are really painful. I, I don't know how people with diabetes do it. Uh, I've been doing the finger prick thing and and um, and uh, checking my levels just uh, just to get a sense. I'd like to know where I am with this stuff. I have no idea how it works, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to track it. Um, and as it turns out, kind of painful. Um, so I've been doing that as well. And uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. I've of course been talking to my friend um, uh, Josiah at uh, at the Odin, and I really want to have a chat with him. I've been sort of emailing back and forth, and I, I feel like I've really got a kindred spirit there. Except of course he knows everything there is to know about, you know, molecular biology, DNA, and CRISPR, and all this kind of stuff, and it's just really, seems really great at sort of just cutting through all of the, all the media hype, and, uh, and letting you know how it is, and what it is, and what's going on, so I'm uh, really looking forward to talking to him, um, and also, come on, a Neuromancer fan, you know, like, I mean, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's enough right there to make me want to talk to him, so, um, so the reading continues with, uh, molecular, uh, uh, biology of the cell, um, which is this, massive thousands of page tome, um, which I'm sure I won't get through the whole thing on, but I'm, I'm sort of plowing through the first part just to get a sense of how things work. And it is extraordinarily similar to, uh, to programming. Like it's just, there's no other way around it. I mean, we just, there's stuff we don't understand for sure, but there is at its, at its, at its basic level is, is really just, you know, <laughs> connecting, connecting things and turning things off and on. Basically that's what's happening. Um, uh, in a uh, on a molecular level, and it's just extraordinary how we are just giant vats of chemicals. Um, in our case, we are a platform for bacteria. <laughs> it's just it's very it's very humbling and incredibly exciting to read about. Um, uh, I ba sort of barely remember a little bit of the stuff I was doing in biology at school. I hated it, never understood why we did it. Now I do, uh, and I'm really quite enjoying it. So, um, so that's the book I'm reading right now, um, and I'm, as I say, looking forward to talking to Josiah about it. Um, and also, I really feel like this stuff is important to get into the hands of my science, technology, engineering, arts, and math kids, because... This is going to change our lives, um, and uh, I feel like, you know, why are we putting this off until later? Why don't we get them excited about it now? While they're excited about the comic books they read about genetic engineering and stuff, why aren't we doing this? You know, let's let's get them excited about that as well. Um, so adding that to the repertoire, I'm not going to be able to speak to Stargate Command um, until the week after next because of filming, I'm afraid. But they are busy, I am busy, but they also sound like they're up to some really cool stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, chatting with them about that. Um, and I'm tentatively setting myself a goal to get uh, the Kickstarter for this Makerspace studio thing up and running by my birthday. 
which is April 18th. So I'm thinking that's like a good goal to aim for. I don't know what I have to do. It feels like a lot and, and I, I, yeah, I panic whenever I start thinking about it. But I just, I really want to get this moving and I, I just can't find a good space. Um, you know, Shaftesbury space is a temporary one and I, I just, I can't do that again. I need a space where I can put everything and keep everything. So I'm thinking, um, I'm going to need to basically give up my basement, um, give up my basement, knock down some walls and create the space down here and in the garage for the heavy machinery. So that is the, that's the plan. In order to do that, I'm, I'm going to hopefully kickstart some, um, uh, some funding to, uh, to get up and running on it. So, uh, I'm really excited, but also kind of terrified at the same time. So, um, now I've really got to go eat something before I like pass out because this whole not eating thing is, I don't like it so much. I mean, it's not that I'm not eating. I'm just being sensible about what I eat. But being sensible is not much fun because there's ice cream and really fun things like whole loaves of bread that I would really like to eat. So, until we geek again, sweaty or not, hungry or not, here I come. Cheerio. Whee!